Let's take a step back in time. Picture a world where the shadows danced with secret societies, where power was wielded in the darkest corners, and where legends were born in blood and betrayal. It's a world where crime bosses ruled like kings, their names whispered in fear and reverence, where law enforcement walked a tightrope between justice and corruption. Yup, it's the Golden Age. In the early 1950s, Estes Kvafer's televised hearings had a profound impact on American society, thrusting the American Mafia into the public eye and initiating a new era in the fight against organized crime. These hearings were a watershed moment, offering an unprecedented glimpse into the secretive world of the Mafia and exposing its reach and influence across the nation. They marked the first time any part of the federal government publicly acknowledged the existence of the American Mafia, shattering the myth of localized Italian-American crime gangs. However, despite this newfound awareness, the government's initial response was marked by reluctance, with the FBI and law enforcement agencies slow to take substantial action and Congress failing to enact concrete measures to combat the growing threat of organized crime. Little did they know that a small upstate New York town called Appalachian would soon drag the Mafia further into the spotlight, revealing a web of criminal activity that extended far beyond anyone's imagination. Picture a quiet upstate New York town in November 1957. Appalachian, known for its tranquility, was suddenly thrust into the national spotlight when police raided a seemingly ordinary gathering of more than 60 mobsters from all corners of the country. This was no family reunion, it was a summit of crime bosses. The sheer scale and audacity of this event caught law enforcement completely off guard. The Appalachian Raid exposed the level of coordination and organization within the American Mafia that had previously remained hidden. The fallout from the Appalachian incident was swift and profound. The government could no longer ignore the Mafia's existence or dismiss it as a series of disconnected local Italian-American crime gangs. The media frenzy that followed the raid ensured that the American public was well aware of the Mafia's national reach. It became clear that the Mafia was operating on a scale that surpassed anything law enforcement had previously comprehended. Appalachian was a turning point in the fight against organized crime, sparking a renewed sense of urgency within government agencies to tackle this growing menace head-on. Before Appalachian, the prevailing narrative was that the Mafia was confined to local Italian-American communities. The raid shattered this myth wide open. It became evident that the Mafia's influence stretched far beyond the borders of individual neighborhoods. The gathering of mobsters from various states underscored the national scope of organized crime. This revelation forced a critical re-evaluation of law enforcement strategies, dispelling the illusion that the Mafia could be contained within certain geographic boundaries. Appalachian served as a watershed moment in the fight against organized crime. It was the wake-up call that law enforcement and government officials needed. The incident prompted a shift in focus from merely addressing localized criminal activities to tackling the broader, more systemic issue of organized crime at the national level. The Appalachian Raid marked the beginning of a more concentrated effort to dismantle the Mafia's vast network and led to increased cooperation among federal agencies and a more aggressive pursuit of mobsters. It was a pivotal step toward disrupting the Mafia's operations and ultimately diminishing its power in the United States. Now, before we continue with the video, please take a second to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press that little notification bell as well. Thank you. In the 1960s, a fresh wind of government action swept across the United States, reshaping the fight against organized crime. U.S. Attorney General Robert Kennedy played a pivotal role with his unwavering commitment to targeting not only the Mafia, but also the rampant corruption within labor unions. His initiatives took aim at the very heart of organized crime's power structure. One of his prime targets was none other than Jimmy Hoffa, the influential head of the Teamsters Union, 
which boasted over a million members. Kennedy's pursuit of Hoffa sent shockwaves through the world of organized labor. Simultaneously, pressure mounted on J. Edgar Hoover and the FBI, which had been criticized for their slow response to the Mafia threat. This pressure resulted in a seismic shift, leading to the inception of electronic spying programs. The FBI, previously in the dark about the Mafia's inner workings, suddenly had a powerful tool at their disposal, providing invaluable information that would prove critical in the ongoing battle against organized crime. The 1960s marked a turning point when the government, under Kennedy's leadership, began to wield significant influence and adopt more aggressive tactics in its efforts to dismantle the Mafia's extensive operations. Joseph Falacci, an unassuming figure in the criminal underworld, assumed an extraordinary role as a government informant during the tumultuous 1960s. His involvement was not merely cooperative, but rather a seismic breach of the Mafia's age-old code of silences, the infamous Omerta, which had protected the organization from within for generations. Valachi's decision to talk was nothing short of revolutionary, and its significance reverberates through the annals of organized crime history. To understand the gravity of Valachi's actions, one must grasp the profound significance of breaking Omerta. This code demanded silence under threat of death, cementing the Mafia's impenetrable fortress of secrecy. By speaking out, Valachi not only jeopardized his life, but also shattered a cornerstone of the criminal empire. He opened the door for the first time to the inner sanctum of the Mafia, allowing law enforcement and the world at large to glimpse its hidden depths. Valachi's role went beyond mere cooperation. He became a vital informant, providing a rare insider's perspective into the Mafia's intricate hierarchy, operations, customs, and rituals. His revelations were like a treasure trove for law enforcement agencies hungry for actionable intelligence. From detailing the structure of the Cosa Nostra to exposing the intricacies of criminal enterprises, Valachi's testimony was a roadmap for dismantling the Mafia. Joseph Valachi's testimony marked a seismic shift in the battle against the Mafia. It was not merely a case of one informant among many. His revelations had the power to rewrite the rule book on how law enforcement approached organized crime. The insights he provided gave authorities a strategic advantage they had never enjoyed before. Valachi's courage and willingness to testify helped reshape the landscape of organized crime enforcement and propelled it into a new era. The Golden Age was a time when organized crime reached unprecedented heights, but it was also a period that showcased the relentless pursuit of justice by dedicated law enforcement officers. The stories of legendary mobsters and their criminal empires are tempered by the heroism of those who stood up to them. The Golden Age, with all of its insanity and intrigue, reminds us that even in the face of overwhelming odds, the human spirit can still rise above, seeking to balance the scales of justice and leave us with an enduring legacy of resilience. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like and don't forget to comment down below which criminal activities you'd like us to cover next. And as always, thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with us here today. We'll see you in our next video.